How's it going ladies and gentlemen on YouTube? I am Ultimate Speedway and I am back at it with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Charlie Kimball's Rip Current Diecast, so let's get into the review. I already have it out. On the hood we have four Rip Current, Chevy, NTT, IndyCar. Uh, I think that's Oliro or Arrow, and Delara with Rip Current, and then Rip Current. Firestone, Chevy, uh, NTT, let's back that up a bit, hold on, sorry about that, I had to adjust my lighting, um, and then Rip Current, and on the arrow screen, I don't know if you could see that, but there's uh, current there. And I really do love how these arrow screens are mounted on. Oh, here's the card. As we're curious, I like to get these autographed by the drivers. But no, I really strongly recommend this die cast. Something that I really like is just the color scheme on it in general. And metal chassis. But yeah, overall, I really do love this die cast. It's great that we got a Charlie Kimball this year. Because he did switch to the 4, and I don't think that he's staying. I don't know if he's staying, in all honesty. I feel like he is, but then I don't know. Or no, he's not. No, no, he's not. So, honestly, I would recommend this one, because I don't know if we're going to get a Sebastian Bourdais diecast next year. So, I would pick this one up, if you could find it. It's one of the best paint schemes that we will get this year for IndyCar. Just love the black and blue on this. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Really do love it. And yeah, definitely do pick it up if you could find it. And don't wait on this because it's going to sell out fast. So yeah, I got a couple more IndyCars to review. I'm going to have a NASCAR out Wednesday. Then I'm going to have, I'm going to alternate. I don't know when my shipment will be here, but I'm going to alternate when that gets here.